Hello! It's been a while since I've made a video, but I've had a little bit of a hectic schedule and things have started to clear up, so expect some more videos, including the continuation of the process series coming up in the next few weeks and months. One announcement I want to make is that I'll be giving a talk at ElixirConf in October. The Wednesday schedule, I'll be talking about adventures in Zig and integrating Zig with Elixir. So to give a little bit of a taste of what's coming up, I want to show you something that's going to make it into my new 0.8.1 release of my Ziggler library. This is something that I'm pretty excited about because I think it's really cool. All right, so let's start with a, a module where we're going to include some Zig code. So to do that, we need to do use Zig. And then, uh, as usual, we're going to have the sigil Z, which is going to de uh, denote uh, where we have our Zig code. And in this case, I'm going to write a NIF that runs in its own operating system thread. So to do that, I do NIF, and then let's call this dumb loop. I'm going to give it one argument, and it's going to be threaded. Next, I need to actually write the NIF. So this one is going to look like this. I'm going to pass it the environment. And I'm going to also pass it one term, which is going to be the PID. So PID, which is going to be PID. There we go. And it's going to have this signature. And we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to make a while loop. This while loop is going to run forever. And we're going to sleep for one millisecond. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a yield point. So this is how we do this in Zig, in Ziggler. Like so. And so what that says is that even though this loop runs, uh, even though this loop runs forever, I'm going to create a yielding point in here which means that the, this is a point where the, I can interrupt the existence, uh, the running of the loop, and possibly because this is a try, which is, which is, a, which is syntactic sugar for beam yield uh, catch error return error, right? So because those are the same, it's going to give me a way to jump out of this loop if, the, if it gets in, uh, interrupted. And I'm going to show you how we're going to interrupt the execution of this loop. Now, one last thing I want to do is I want to be able to know that this has been interrupted. And the way that I'm going to do that is with a defer statement. And in the defer statement, I'm going to execute uh, beam.send, which is the equivalent of send. I need to give it a source environment, which is our environment a destination, which is going to be the PID, and then I'm going to be, have to send some terms. So let's make uh, an atom, uh, and the atom that we're going to make is just going to be something that says killed from Ziggler. Okay, so what should happen is that when this, when this code gets interrupted, it's going to exit the while loop as a result of this return statement that's embedded in this try. And then at, on the point of return, it's going to execute this defer statement, which will send uh, to whatever PID we pass the atom killed from Ziggler. OK, so let's go ahead and try and run this. Oh, and we get an error which says that a NIF module that has zig error turns compiled with debug symbols must be linked libc true. So I need to do this.
Okay. Okay, it compiled. Um, now, let's see what happens if I try to run this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first set the variable this to be self. So the console PID, and then I'm gonna spawn playground.dumb, oops, we need to put this in a function. We're gonna pass this to the playground nif, and then go. I need to assign this to a pid. Okay, great. So um, now we've uh, spawned this dumb loop and it should be running in the background in its own threaded uh, operating system thread. Now what, what, now what I need to do is I won't need to try and kick it by, by, execute, by getting it to jump into this beam.yield statement here. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Well, first I wanna double check to make sure that we haven't already been killed by Ziggler. So I'm gonna flush the message mailbox and we see nothing. Now I'm just gonna do process.exit pid. And we need to give it a reason, just say kill. Now what is in our process mailbox is this killed from Ziggler message that got sent by this defer statement. So what this means is that I've created a way for you to run these threaded NIFs in a safe fashion so that even though it's spawning in an operating system thread, it's in a completely different context, when its parent process gets killed, uh, it's able to hook into the garbage collector for that process and emit an instruction that will get trapped by this beam.yield statement. So that's the new update that's gonna happen in Ziggler 0.8.1. Um, this was quite a bit of work required considerable amount of refactoring uh, up and down Zig, uh, up and down the Ziggler code code base but um, it's working now and I'm pretty happy about it so I uh, hope to see you guys at elixirconf see you later